I think probably the first thing that's really important is that everybody needs to figure out how they're connected to the problem and what they can do to help. Because I think what might happen, and, and I understand why this happens, is that people are waiting for everyone else to take care of the problem. And it really, I think, is a community-wide effort. Um, I think having conversations with your neighbors, with people you go to church with, uh, really having conversations with your kids and asking them, you know, what's happening with your relationships with other kids and empowering your children to, um, to realize that they're important and they're special and that you don't accept certain types of behavior from people uh, because violence is very connected. The, the bullying that goes on and the verbal abuse that happens, um, all of that is connected to domestic violence because the more pervasive those types of behaviors are, the more accepting we become. And then um, by the time it has snowballed into a domestic violence situation, we're still kind of saying, eh, not our problem, or we're getting so used to seeing it that it just, it doesn't really catch our attention all that much anymore, but it's so very important.